So I wanted to talk about something super interesting that showed up in one of uh, my one-on-one -on -one meditation sessions with a student this week. And we had a really interesting discussion in my group about it as well. Um, so I wanna dissect it a little bit with you today. Whether you are a seasoned meditator or you're frustrated by meditation, I think you'll find some value here. So the principal tenant, as you know, in meditation and in coaching is that we are not our thoughts right? We are the thinker of our thoughts. And so that is a pretty central concept that we talk about fairly regularly, both in meditation and as well as in coaching, and can give us a lot of power in many different areas in our lives when we use it appropriately. And so in meditation, we begin to discover ourselves as the witness, sort of the witness of our thoughts. And what we are trained to do is very gently to allow all the thoughts that show up during meditation, right? So we are not trying to control our thoughts during meditation. So the thoughts are going to come. And when they show up, we actually gently come back to what we were doing, which is meditating. And so if it's a guided meditation, you just gently come back to the guidance. If it's a mantra meditation, you just gently come back to the mantra. And it's really just that simple. And sometimes you can spend just five minutes noticing that your thought is over here and your attention's at the thought, and you just come right back to the, to the actual meditation, right? And so something that's very obvious, like you're meditating and then a thought shows up like, oh God, I forgot to send this email. Oh no, I missed this deadline. Like those are pretty obvious that those are thoughts. And so what you can do is then just gently releasing those and coming back to the mantra, just coming back to the meditation, right? But sometimes thoughts can be tricky because thoughts can show up like they're really trying to help you during a meditation, right? So the same you know pattern of thoughts that may have showed up before when you did a meditation can show up again. So thoughts like, Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm following the directions right. Oh, I don't know when the bell's gonna go off. I just don't know if I'm doing this meditation right, right? And so we can actually be tricked into paying more attention to those thoughts because they're actually about the meditation. But in fact, they're just thoughts. They're just thoughts. We're the thinker of our thoughts. And so we get to pay attention to what we want our energy to go to. So what we do is we, even when those thoughts are showing up, like, I don't think I'm doing this right, or I don't know when the bell's gonna go off, um, whatever those thoughts are, we just gently come back to the meditation. And it's really just that simple. But I have been tricked many times before by those thoughts that are actually about the meditation. But the truth is, they're just thoughts. They're just thoughts, just like every other thought. And so I hope that's helpful for you. This is why I love being a meditation teacher because there's newer depths that we find all the time and new discoveries um, and new ways of being that I actually learn so much from my clients and so much from my patients. It's amazing. Um, and so, you know, I've got a brand new offering coming up in 2022 where I combine not just meditation and coaching, but also Ayurveda. And that is going to be coming up in January of 2022. I would love to um, have you stay in touch with me. So pop into my website and sign up for the newsletter and you'll be the first to know when, uh, when the doors open for the program, for the group program. I'd love to have you join me, especially if you have any interest in meditation or mindfulness at all. So just imagine your next meditation session or your next mindfulness exercise where all these different thoughts show up about whether you're doing it right or when the bell is going to go off and you just very zen-like, allow those thoughts to come and go like clouds in the sky and you're coming right back to your meditation and you're getting all these different benefits from the meditation. That is what I wish for you, friend.